Welcome to the lesson on acute stroke. In this video, we'll discuss acute stroke, the stroke chain of survival, and goals of acute stroke care. Outcomes for individuals with stroke have improved significantly due to the implementation of acute stroke system of care. The community is better equipped to recognize stroke as a brain attack, and there is greater awareness of the importance of medical care within one hour of symptom onset. Likewise, EMS systems have been enhanced to transport individuals to regional stroke care centers that are equipped to administer fibrinolytics. The stroke chain of survival suggests to first recognize symptoms and activate EMS and expects a timely EMS response. Next, you should notify a stroke-capable center and transport the individual to the center. At the stroke center, the individual receives guideline-based stroke care. Lastly, they receive quality post-stroke care. Stroke centers are equipped with resources often not available at smaller community hospitals. The presence of specialists, including neurologists and stroke care specialists, multidisciplinary teams experienced in stroke care, advanced imaging modalities, and other therapeutic options make transport to stroke centers the most suitable option. The goal of the stroke team, emergency physician, or other experts is to assess the individual with suspected stroke within 10 minutes. The eight Ds of stroke care highlight the major steps of diagnosis and treatment of stroke and key points at which delays can occur. Let's review the eight Ds of stroke care. First is detection, which is rapid recognition of stroke symptoms. Next is dispatch, which is the early activation and dispatch of EMS by 911. Delivery refers to rapid EMS identification, management, and transport. Door refers to transport to stroke center. Data includes rapid triage, evaluation, and management in ED. Decision involves stroke expertise and therapy selection. Drug involves fibrinolytic therapy and intra-arterial strategies. Lastly, disposition is rapid admission of the stroke unit or critical care unit. This concludes our lesson on acute stroke. Next, we'll review the resuscitation team.